good day today's topic is all about finding the remainder of the quotient using the remainder theorem so first we are going to define what is remainder theorem so by explanation we have here if a polynomial p of x is divided by the x minus r the remainder is a constant pr and the p of x is equal to the product of the x minus r times the q of x plus the p of r where q of x is the polynomial with degree one less than the degree of the p of x so actually this means that if we are going to divide the polynomial p of x by our divisor which is the x minus r it will come up with a constant remainder the p of r so that means that the resulting polynomial is actually the product of our divisor and the quotient plus the given remainder where our quotient here is one less than the or the degree of the p of x or the exponent so say for example if the polynomial given is highest degree is x to the fourth therefore our, our quotient will be x to the power of 3 so with this theorem we will be discussing three examples so we have here the three we will start with number one okay, for example number one we will use the remainder theorem in order for us to find the remainder given that the polynomial okay, function given is 3x to the fourth minus x cubed plus x squared plus 5x minus 10 in which we will divide this by the x plus 1 so first write the polynomial given so the polynomial given is this one wherein our divisor is x plus 1 so same as synthetic division we are going to get the opposite of plus one so what is the opposite of plus one that is negative one so we will make x as our negative one so our x here is negative one that is based on our divisor which is x plus one so since our x is negative one then we will change every x here in our expression by negative one so for the x here, this is negative 1. For the x cubed, they have this negative 1 cubed. For the x squared, this negative 1 squared. And then, what is negative 1 to the power of 4? Negative 1 to the power of 4 is simply 1. Negative 1 to the power of 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 to the power of 2 is positive 1. Then copy. So then we will make, okay, compute so we have 3 times 1 what is 3 times 1 is 3 negative times negative 1 is positive 1 copy the 1 then 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 then copy the negative 10 then we are going to add the expression or add all the numbers so 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5 minus 5 is 0 minus 10 is negative 10 so negative 10 that is our remainder so after we divide this expression by the x plus 1 our remainder is negative 10 let's proceed to another example okay second example we are to determine the remainder given that the polynomials is 6x cubed minus 7x squared plus x minus 7 and we divide it this one by the x minus 2 so the polynomial given is this one so our divisor is x minus 2 so negative 2 opposite of negative 2 is positive 2 so we will change every value of x by positive 2 so this will become 2 cubed and this one is 2 squared so change x to 2 so what is 2 cubed 
2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4. Copy the 2, copy the negative 7. So we have here 6, 8. So what is 6 times 8? That is 48. Negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. Copy the positive 2 and copy the minus 7. So 48 minus 28 is 20. Plus 2 is 22. Minus 7 is 15. Okay, so 15 is actually our remainder. Okay, so let's proceed on to math challenging example. So we have here, we are to find the remainder when the given polynomial is 3x cubed plus 10x squared minus x minus 12 to be divided by the 2x plus 3. Okay, so copy the polynomial first. Take note, our divisor is 2x plus 3. So what is the opposite of positive 3? Negative 3. And the 2 here besides the x becomes our denominator. So this will become negative 3 over 2. So our x is negative 3 over 2. So change everything by negative 3 over 2. All x's by negative 3 over 2. So after substitution then we are going to compute based on the exponent so what is negative 3 halves to the power of 3 so 3 to the power of 3 is 27 and 2 to the power of 3 is 8 so the negative 3 over 2 cube is negative 27 over 8 so here is negative 3 over 2 to the power of 2 so 3 to the power of 2 is 9 and 2 to the power of 2 is 4 because since this is the exponent is even so therefore the result would always be positive so the answer will be 9 over 4 and then copy everything next we will multiply so 3 times 27 is 81 copy the denominator which is 8 so this is negative 81 over 8 for this number here what about the 10 to the 10 times 9 over 4 so 10 times 9 is 90 then copy the 4 the negative times negative becomes positive so this is positive 3 halves then copy the negative 12 so in this case it's really hard for us to add with what with the similar denominator so our denominator here are not the same so for us to add this easily we are going to multiply the 90 over 4 by 2 over 2 so that they can come up with a what so we will come up with a denominator of 8 so here we will multiply this by 4 over 4 so that this will also becomes 8 and for the 12 multiply this by 8 over 8 okay so the 90 over 4 to be multiplied by 2 over 2 so take note the number is not changed because we are just multiplying this by 1 the 2 over 2 is just 1 so this will become 8 here we are sure that this is 8 because 4 times 2 is 8 in here for the 3 halves I multiply is this one by 4 over 4 so that I can come up with 8 also for the denominator and for the 12 so that I can come up with an 8 denominator so I will multiply this by 8 over 8 so then so what will happen to that so we have negative 81 over 8 so 90 times 2 is 180 4 times 2 is 8 3 times 4 is 12 then 2 times 4 is also 8 then 12 times 8 is 96 so minus you have 96 then copy the 8 so now here all our denominator is 8 so definitely we can add or subtract the numerator so negative 81 plus 180 is 
Minus 96 is 15. So, therefore, the result will be 15 over 8. Thus, we can say that the remainder upon dividing the 3x cubed plus 10x squared minus x minus 12 by the 2x plus 3, the remainder is 15 over 8. So, thank you listening and God bless us all.